Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Rick Schertz from Great Northern Games looking at Noble Treachery. Right. About which I will confess I know nothing. No problem. I, I imagine it's this, a card game. It yes, has cards. it's a card and dice game for four to six players. Okay. Uh, games usually last about 45 minutes to an hour. What's the world? What are we doing here? So this is the Kingdom What's of Black Rose. The king has died and he left no heir. So the five noble families, represented by the five colors here, okay. will choose the next king. All right, let's move these down. Sure, no problem. Yeah. So the way the game works is over a series of rounds, you, each player will play one card, and mm -hmm. at the end of a round you'll gain tokens. So at the start of the game, everybody starts with two tokens that end up randomly to each player. Okay. And on a round, the players will roll the dice, and then we'll put a token in the middle for the one that we're fighting for. Uh, and so then mentioned these these hands I imagine are secret. Yes, They're these not hands revealed are secret, on the yeah. table, but to show right. people what we're doing. Yeah, but we've got to show off this here. amazing artwork. Um, so on a turn, first uh, a player's bet to try to take control of the round. Okay. So if somebody bets, they risk their alliance tokens. So if this player bets, they get to choose whether it's going to be a diplomacy round, okay. lowest total value will win, or a war round, the highest total value wins. Okay. So. Um, highest total value of cards being so the, played? Right, so the way it'll work is when you play a card, every card has one of the five colored dice values on it, mm -hmm. or colors on it. So when I play a blue card, I add the die plus the card together to get my total power. Okay. So for example, this blue army would be a uh, 14 uh, in power. So okay. in a war round, an army would be really good. In a, in a diplomacy round where we're going low, you play lower cards and hopefully the dice would help you out. Okay. Now let's say he takes control around and he wants to play a war round. First he'll get to re-roll one die. So let's try to roll this one lower. Great. And then the player, and then he'll choose war diplomacy. He's gonna choose war. Okay. And then the player to his left would take his turn. So the player to his left would play a card. Um, let's say he plays a, a cleric. He doesn't have anything too great in power. Well, so the, you're playing for the number and not for the effect right now. You get both. You so get when both. you play the card, so he's at a value four, not that great in war. However, his card text, if the black die is tied with another die, he'll get to take tokens and rotate them around the table. So he'll get to choose color and direction. So let's say he says blue to the left. He'll get to steal a blue token from somebody. Okay. So he's not going to win the round with a four, but he's still going to gain tokens in other ways. Okay. Next uh, player might play. Um, and do something similar with a uh, witch. So they're at 11, pretty good. And the witch is choose higher roller, higher or lower, and roll the matching die. And if you're right, you win a token from the bank. So he would have chosen lower because it was a five, and he failed because it was tied. Okay. So he doesn't win his token, but he's still at 11, which is pretty decent. All right, next player Except is going to go. Except it's not so good. Well, uh, the highest is 15, and the lowest is two. So 11's not terrible. Okay. All right, he's going to play his army. He's at nine plus uh, the black die is ten. He gets to roll any die except the black die. Okay. So he's going to try to roll this red one down so that nobody can beat him. All right. So now he's at a ten, and finally the the uh, challenger here gets to play a card. Now, fortunately, his blue die didn't change a whole lot on him. So he's going to play this card. He still rolls his die. And he's at a 14, he'll win the round. So he'll win his bet back, plus he gets the token in the middle. Okay. And so you can, um, if you already have the color, there's an alternate action of taking tokens from other players in a war round or in a diplomacy round. Um, or you can, can uh, keep the token that's in the middle even if you have the same color. Okay. So you keep playing until one player has um, all five of the colors, and if, it, if somebody has that at the end of a round, they win the game. Okay. Otherwise, you just play until all the cards are exhausted. Okay, so you're going to refill your hand after Yep, so time, those four so cards would get discarded. Available. Everybody would get one new card, and then we'd roll the dice and start another round. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the artwork is very good. Yeah, very we've got here. Uh, seven or eight artists that we worked with. Um, some of them here around the convention, they do great work. Um, that's been one of the big selling points is uh, uh, the artwork. People really like that. Uh, it's a good game for families and because um, it's it's casual enough. It's easy to pick up. You know, right. red plus red. That's my power. Pretty easy uh, to get a hold of uh, to understand. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Yeah. Thank you.